One of the most astounding aspects of you is your soul. People very rarely compliment each other's souls. You know, we say, you have beautiful eyes, you know, or I like your shoes, or that sort of thing. But one of the most extraordinary aspects of you as a human being is your soul. Are you taking care of your soul? Um, do you pay attention to feed your soul on a regular basis? It's easy for us to ignore our soul because our, our souls don't grumble like our, our stomachs grumble when they get hungry. What stops the soul from growing? What prevents us from making great spiritual growth? There's a few things. I think one of the things is that, you know, we can't live without hope that things will change for the better. We can't live without that hope. That hope is essential to the growth of the soul. It feeds the soul, it encourages the soul, it waters the soul, it nurtures the soul. And it is very easy to fall into a hopelessness. It is very easy to, to lose that hope that yes, things can get better in any aspect of our lives, in every aspect of our lives. Very often what dampens that hope or, or smothers that hope is that we get lost in the past. You know, you're not a victim of your circumstances. You are not what has happened to you in the past. You're, you're much more than that. And very often it is our past, and especially perhaps the things where we're not proud of, maybe even things we're ashamed of in our past, that stifles the hope and stops us from believing that things can change for the better that things are about to change for the better, that something wonderful is about to happen. That's why it's so important that we, we feed our soul every day, that we nurture our soul, that we take care of our soul, because your soul's hungry. The soul's hungry, and the more you feed your soul, the more vibrant your soul will become, the more you feed your soul, the more that hope will begin to infuse every aspect of your life. And as that hope infuses every aspect of your life, you become more and more aware of everything that's happening within you and around you. And that awareness is a beautiful spiritual gift, that, that rising consciousness, that, that elevated consciousness, that awareness of what you're feeling, what it means, what other people are feeling, how other people are reacting to your presence, to your words, to your actions. That awareness is a, is a beautiful spiritual gift. You're a human being. What's a human being? So many ways to describe a human being, but you have a body, yes, but you also have a soul. And your body and soul are carefully linked by the will and the intellect. And so you're able to direct body, you're able to direct soul through the will and the intellect. You're an incredibly delicate and complex being, a human being. Very often we pay a lot of attention to our bodies, but now it's time to pay attention to our souls. It's time to pay attention to integrating your whole person physically, emotionally, intellectually and spiritually because God is interested in you as a whole person, not just one part of you. There may be people in your life who are only interested in one part of you but God's not that person. God's interested in your whole person, physically, emotionally, intellectually, and spiritually. And the more you pay attention to the soul, the more you feed your soul, the more you nurture your soul, the more you realize that the soul, it's the soul that integrates our lives. It's the soul that harmonizes every aspect of our lives. And it is the soul that reorients us toward what matters most. So wherever you are in your journey, maybe you feel a little bit lost at this moment. That's okay. Pay attention to your soul. Start to care for your soul. Start to feed and nurture your soul. And it will reorient you toward what matters most.